Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to update the name servers for a domain name that you've purchased through Namecheap. This is what I would consider to be the easiest way to set up your website. What this does is it gives control over the DNS records, which stands for Domain Name System Records, to the server hosting the website. This is beneficial, so if you have email accounts hosted on the same server, or you add some subdomains like shop.yourdomainname.com, then the server will then create those records for you automatically. Alright, so to do this, the first thing you're going to need is to know what the name servers are that you have to use. Uh, the name servers are typically going to start with NS, and are followed by a number, a period, and then the domain name for the server. Uh, there are typically two, but there could be three or four of them. Uh, however many there are, you're going to need to add them all. So what those other ones are are backups. So you'll have one, so if one goes down, then they have the second, or the third, or the fourth. In most cases, there are just going to be two. Um, and if you don't know where to find them, you'll usually find them in the email that you received when the uh, website hosting account was created, or it may be something that you have to look into the support and just look up name servers uh, for the web host that you're using. And once you find those, uh, you go over to Namecheap and you're going to go into your account. Uh, you can either go to the dashboard or the domain name list, uh, wherever your domain name is in the uh, Namecheap system. You need to find it and then click on the manage button. Alright, once it pulls up the settings, you're going to change this section that says name servers and you're going to change it from the Namecheap basic DNS and you're going to change it to custom DNS. And then you're going to type in the name server, uh, the first one. And then you're going to type in the next one. And once you're done, you're going to click on the little green check mark. And this is going to save them. If you have additional name servers, then you just click on add, and then it will create more spaces for you to put those in. So click save. And then it will take some time to update it. And It'll tell you the DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So you should typically start seeing it uh, within a couple hours, but sometimes it can take longer. Sometimes uh, it may take up to 48 hours, but uh, it just kind of depends on where the information is cached. So if it doesn't pull up on one device, you can always try a different device. Uh, say try a phone or try a different computer or try uh, a different uh, internet service located in a different area and see if it will pull up. It does take time for these things to propagate around the world, uh, but for the most part, once you've made these changes and as long as they're correct, they should pull up your website and everything else and start working pretty quickly. And so that's how you update the name servers. If you have questions, you can always feel free to put them in the comments or just send me a message and I'll be happy to help you as best I can. Thanks for watching.